Here's how to set up a clean iPhone in just a few minutes. First, let's change the wallpapers. You can use any wallpaper app of your choice, or just ask ChatGPT to generate you something special. Long press on the lock screen, swipe right and click on the plus sign. Tap Photos and pick the wallpaper you like. I'm gonna set mine to these white abstract lines. Don't forget to turn off Blur for the home screen. Next up, I'll create a separate home screen by dragging a random widget to it. Don't skip this step, we'll need it later for the automatic switching between light and dark themes. If you're not doing the switching, then you also need to take a screenshot of the empty home screen for the empty space widgets. Tap and hold until apps start to jiggle, swipe right to the empty home screen and take a screenshot. To create these widgets, we'll use a free MD Blank app. I'll upload the screenshot to the app, then go to the home screen and drag one of the app's widgets onto it. Everything blends in perfectly and doesn't have any text under it. Now let's just delete that clock widget from earlier. Next up, useful widgets. For the weather, I recommend using the Tomorrow I.O. It's pretty stylish, clean and has a special trick that I'll show a bit later. For the calendar widget, I'm using the Widget Club app. This app has a ton of widgets to choose from, but quite an aggressive paywall policy. If needed, I can customize the widget's colors and even pick a font. I've obviously set mine to be black and white. Now let's make the dog disappear by deleting all the icons and making it invisible. To do it, I'll use the free app called Dockland. Click on gradient, choose an image, then adjust the colors and save. Again, this is an optional step if you don't want to see the dock. Then I'll just set it as the wallpaper for the home screen. Now go to settings, home screen and turn off search. This already looks pretty clean and minimalistic, but we still need to create custom app icons. And this is gonna be a tedious process, not gonna lie. Open the shortcuts app, then tap on the plus sign, pull up the bottom menu, scripting, Open app. Choose an app you want the shortcut to open. As the name for the shortcut, paste a special empty text. I'll leave this text in the description. Click on the share button, add to home screen, then click here to choose an icon. You can download icon packs online or use any of the apps in the app store. I've downloaded some icon packs online, so I'm gonna pick the one I like and click add. Then I'll just drag the shortcut to my minimalist home screen. Now we need to do the same with all the other icons, which in my case is 7 more times. Yeah, I told you it was tedious. This is gonna be a tedious process. With all the icons completed, I'll arrange everything how I want it. And voila! The home screen is as clean as it can be. Here I must say that right now in iOS 17 it's impossible to get rid of the pop-up in the dynamic carpet. That happens each time that I run the shortcuts. Maybe we'll get this option later. If you want, you can also customize the lock screen, but the options here are pretty limited. I can change the font or its size or pick a color. I think gray looks good enough. Then it's adding a couple of widgets and the lock screen is complete. My next step is repeating all the same actions one more time for the dark setup. Hide the dark with wallpapers, take a screenshot, Turn on dark mode for the empty space widgets. Now drag and drop a weather widget. And here's why I picked this particular weather app. The widget becomes black automatically when I switch to the dark appearance. The calendar, however, needs to be remade to be white and black. Then it's app icons. Once again. You know what? Let's just skip all that, like this. Okay, now when all the hard stuff is over, let's make the theme switch automatically and with an action button command. We're gonna do that with focus modes, it's the easiest way for sure. Head over to settings, focus, then click on the plus sign and choose custom. Here we can change the color for the focus mode, the icon and give it a name. In my case, that's gonna be light. Then it's all about correctly setting up the focus mode. By the way, I'm already working on a video about focus modes, so be sure to subscribe. 
Next up, we need to click here and choose the lock screen we want to use for this focus mode. Then pick the home screen the same way. So in the light focus, the phone will use the light wallpaper and home screen with those custom white icons. And while we're at it, I'm gonna set another focus for the dark look. Now open the shortcuts app and add another shortcut. Click on add action, scripting and scroll down. Choose set appearance, then click here and pick light. Pull up the bottom menu and tap set focus. Pick light and on. Now each time the shortcut is run, the phone will set the focus to light and the appearance to match. Ok, the first shortcut is done. Now I'll just repeat everything one more time, but set the appearance to dark and also the focus to dark. I promise, this was the second to last shortcut of this video. Now let's set up the automatic switching between the light and dark theme. Go to Automations, New Automation. The app will ask when to run the automation. Choose Sunrise. Set it to repeat daily and run immediately without showing the notification. Next up, pick a light shortcut we created earlier, halfway there. Add new automation, run at sunset and pick the dark shortcut. This way the phone will automatically cycle between a dark theme and a light theme. First half of the day it's gonna be light and the second half dark. Check out how the switching looks. And the best part is that in these modes the system also changes the appearance. So when I'm in a light mode the apps will also be white inside and when in the dark one dark. Now let's create that action button command that I promised earlier in the video. Here I'm gonna use a shortcut that I created in advance which basically runs a shortcut depending on the focus mode you're in. I'll leave the link to download it in the description. To set it all up all you need to do is click add new item, text. In the left column type in the name of the focus mode and in the right one the name of the shortcut. Head over to settings action button. Then swipe right until you see shortcut. Tap choose a shortcut and select the one we've just customized. Check out how it all looks. With just a short press I can go from light to dark and then back to light. What I like about this setup is that no matter which mode you're in, at sunset and sunrise, the phone will automatically reset itself to one of them. Hope you liked what you saw. All links are in the description. Thanks for watching. See you soon.